Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, has been talking about Nova making an appearance in the MCU for some time now, and it seems like they may have just dropped a Nova Easter egg right in front of our eyes in Spider-Man Far From Home. What's up everyone, it's Warren, and don't worry, I'm not going to be spoiling anything about Spider-Man Far From Home if you have not seen it yet. The Easter egg has nothing to do with the plot of the movie, but if you have seen the movie, you may have spotted it. And even if you haven't seen the movie, you may have heard of it because many people are talking about it right now, so let's go ahead and break down this Nova Easter egg. Quick heads up, if you would like a chance to win a Captain America shield, an Iron Man helmet, an Infinity Gauntlet, or another Marvel Legends item, be sure to subscribe to my channel to enter my giveaway. I'm picking three new winners at 450,000 subscribers. So again, in this video, I will not give away anything about Spider-Man Far From Home, so if you haven't seen it, don't worry. This Easter egg is found when Peter is on the plane leaving New York to go on his vacation. When Peter looks at the TV in front of him for the in-flight entertainment, you can see a number of very interesting documentaries. There's one about the snap that shows Thanos' gauntlet, one about finding Wakanda, another about hunting Hydra, and then you have one that says Nova. The documentary that has Nova on it also says Einstein Rosen Bridges with Dr. Eric Selvig and it has Dr. Selvig on the cover. Now, it's important to note that Nova is an actual show about science and speculation that appears on PBS. And it seems like for this particular episode of Nova, they are talking about Einstein, Rose, and Bridges, so they have brought on Dr. Eric Selvig as a guest. But this is a very peculiar thing to put in this in-flight entertainment, especially when you put it besides the snap, finding Wakanda, and hunting Hydra. And you have to remember, Marvel does everything intentionally. There are so many different Easter eggs in all of the movies that they do. Nothing is ever done by accident, which means there has to be a purpose for putting Nova in the in-flight entertainment. Because if you think about it, the other three movies are all fake. They only exist in the MCU. So why would you throw in a TV series that exists in the real world if you didn't want to specifically use its name? Because there are plenty of other scientific TV shows that they could have put there, but they specifically specifically chose to use Nova. And if you think about what we know about Phase 4, we know that there is going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 happening very soon. And there are numerous amounts of reports, rumors, leaks that say we are going to be seeing the introduction of Nova in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which will set up his solo film. And if you tie this together with what Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, has said about Nova recently, it all makes perfect sense. In an interview that wasn't too long ago, Kevin Feige was talking about introducing Nova into the MCU. When talking with ComicBook.com about what new characters could be entering the MCU, Kevin Feige said, If we have a big board with a bunch of characters that have more immediate potential, Nova is on that board. Because of the connection to the Guardians universe, because there are more than one examples to pull from in the comics that are interesting. And you're absolutely right, he was in the earliest drafts of Guardians of the Galaxy. So, Kevin Feige has said previously that Nova is a character that has immediate potential to enter the MCU. And Nova was in the earliest drafts of Guardians of the Galaxy, and we know that Nova was supposed to be in Avengers Infinity War. The directors and writers after Avengers Endgame came out and said that there was originally a scene with Nova and Thanos fighting on Xandar. So Marvel is really trying to introduce Nova into the MCU, they're just waiting for the perfect opportunity. But it seems like we could be getting very close, Marvel has been trying many times and now we have a Nova easter egg. Nova could be introduced as early on as in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which would go on to introduce his solo film later on down the road in Phase 4. So it seems like Nova entering the MCU is pretty imminent and we'll be seeing it happen very soon. Be sure to comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this Nova Easter egg and Spider-Man Far From Home. Also be sure to comment with your favorite superhero or villain, like the video, and subscribe to my channel so you can enter my giveaway and stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.